pandemic is something that is affecting millions of people across the world. Some are really struggling in their personal circumstances, living conditions, poverty, mental health. In times of uncertainty, we need to find some certainty, if that makes sense. So during these unusual and unprecedented days of COVID-19 pandemic, we need to regularly, regularly remind ourselves of God's power and love. It is possible for us to let fear, worry, panic, depression, take over our thoughts. And if we do, we are more likely to give in to Satan's desires. For some, it is so easy to forget that we have a God on our side no matter what crisis we are facing in the world. Lockdowns, supply shortages, uncertainty may leave us feeling stressed, anxious or overwhelmed. But what does the Bible have to say in response to these things? I've got six passage, uh, verses that I want to just look at and make comment on. In Psalm 46, 1 to 2, we read, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. You see, fear is one of the strongest feelings many Christians have right now. Questions like, what is happening? Why is this happening? Where is God in all this? Who has allowed this to get so bad? Nothing has the answers. And not having the answers makes us feel confused and anxious. This Bible verse reminds us that we are not alone. We can seek refuge in God's arms and he will give us strength to keep pushing forward. We do not have to fear the state of the world because God is on our side. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7 tells us that we live by faith, not by sight. The coronavirus is invisible to the naked eye. That in itself gives us cause to fear. It's great power and ability to wreck lives. Jesus, though, is also not visible to us. But as believers in Christ, we know that Jesus lives in us. So why are we treating this virus as if it's bigger than God? Fear some seems to be the culprit here. We do doubt God's ability to help us get through this pandemic and believe that we can see in and, and we and believe what we see in the news instead one thing that we can know for certainty is that there is a great deal of fake news and we can't always trust what we see or hear on the tv or in the newspapers we think it will never end try to keep your faith strong during this time and remind yourself that Jesus is also working behind the scenes to help you get through this difficult time and he has not left us. John 14 verse 27 tells us that Jesus himself says, peace I leave to you, my peace I give you. I do not give you peace as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Many of us are glued to the TV or our phones for updates to keep us ahead of the information about the coronavirus. What are the politicians saying? What's the new death count? Is the vaccine on the way? Will it happen tomorrow? It's a common theme during quarantine to focus on what the world is saying and not what God wants us to hear. God is able to give you peace through this time if we turn our troubled hearts to him, he will be able to take away the fear and replace it with his love. It's a beautiful gift that is ours for the taking, but only if we get our phones, get off our phones long enough to ask him. Are you consumed with what the world says rather than trying to find out what God says through this situation? In the Old Testament, Psalms 29 verse 11, the Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. As a Christian, you might feel very distant from God right now because you are unable to actively go to church or participate in your small groups. It can be hard to stay faithful when you feel isolated from his other children. Without the discipline of getting ready to go out to church on a Sunday morning, 
we can easily fill our time with other things. God, though, is watching over his people and giving them strength. He is blessing all of us with peace. You are not alone in this. We can reach out to our friends in church or family. Watch a live stream on a sermon on the internet or do your own Bible devotional. This will help you feel connected to others and God and will provide you with strength. In Matthew 6 verse 34, we read, Do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. When stuck in quarantine, many of us worry about the future. We question the country, will, will, when the country will reopen. Will we be able to celebrate Christmas and see our family? This is normal anxiety to have because it is such an unprecedented time. God, though, challenges us to stay present in the moment when we can. While you are worrying about the future, your child may be struggling with something, with some project or need your attention. Don't get so wrapped up in what, what may be happened uh, that you forget to be aware of what is going on right now. Tomorrow's troubles cannot be fixed today. So ask God for guidance in the living today. Romans 13 verse 1. Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Many people, Christian or not, are judging how the world's governing bodies are responding to the COVID-19 crisis. They scream and show on social media saying that government is, not, uh, is doing too much or too little to help us get through this. However, God wants us to submit and listen to our government. There are many guidelines officials have put out and that, that is helping to save lives, like keeping a distance from one another, stopping large mass, mass gatherings. While these seem inconvenient, we have to protect those who are most at risk of the disease. Be an example to those around you and show God that you are re re respecting his authority. The COVID-19 has completely shaken the world into something we almost don't recognise. It is a scary time to live in, but know that God has not abandoned you. He is still providing you with love, grace, strength and guidance during this difficult time. Trust in his plan for the world and take this things day by day. By meditating on the Bible verses, you'll be sure to find your uh, more peace. If you're getting worried, fed up, fed up, frustrated, angry, depressed, or are feeling negative in any way, I can understand why. I would, however, urge you to look at the certainty of salvation, to hope that we have in our Lord Jesus Christ, who promised to return, take us to his kingdom, that we may sooner, that this may be sooner than we expect, and therefore, we should forward, look forward to that day with joy.